Saint Dorothy, also known as Dorothea of Caesarea, is a revered figure in the Christian tradition. Her life and legacy are celebrated for their profound impact on the faith and the lives of believers. In this episode, we will learn some fascinating facts about Saint Dorothy, shedding light on her remarkable story, enduring influence, and the enduring significance of her veneration. In the fourth century, there resided a lovely young maiden named Dorothy in Caesarea Mazaka, now known as Turkey. She lived amidst the harsh persecutions by Diocletian. While details of her life are scant, tales of her bravery and beauty have endured through time leaving an indelible mark. Dorothy, captivated by the teachings of Christ from a young age, pledged herself entirely to Him, embracing Christianity fervently. Following her baptism, she devoted her days to prayer and aiding the impoverished nearby. Dorothy was very beautiful, and this caused some trouble for her. A youthful nobleman started to take notice of her as she made her way through the impoverished streets daily, diligently feeding them and gently tending to their wounds. The nobleman, enchanted by her compassionate deeds, sought her hand in marriage. Despite his advances, Dorothy firmly refused, professing her love for another. He was humiliated by her rejection, and he betrayed her to the Roman prefect, Sapricius, declaring her being a Christian. When Dorothy was brought before the court, Sapricius too was charmed by her beauty and sought a way to spare her life. He kindly said that if she would simply offer sacrifice to the Roman gods, she would be released. Dorothy replied with a gentle but resounding no. In a cruel spectacle, Sapricius paraded Dorothy to her death. He was shocked to hear Dorothy cry out in joyous wonder. Christian Family TV is made possible by your generosity. Because of your donation today, we were able to create more than 200 plus wonderful stories on saints, stories of faith, and many other interesting videos to teach our kids. Yes, you are making a difference. We could not do what we do without you. We want to remind you again to take a Patreon subscription. It only costs $2 to start with or make a one-time donation starting at $5. This will help us continue making these videos. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May He smile on you and be gracious to you. Thank you, and God bless you. Adorned as a bride, she walked gracefully towards her execution, her resolve unwavering. Dorothy herself was feeling so happy she could walk with Jesus among the fruits and flowers of his heavenly garden. From the crowd, one man, a lawyer named Theophilus, loudly cried out in sarcasm, Oh, bride of Christ, send me some fruits from your bridegroom's garden. Dorothy turned to him and said, you and I shall meet together in that garden. Theophilus was taken aback by her words, said so confidently and with such self-possession. Mesmerized, he stared after her as she walked on. She removed her jeweled headdress and placed it in the basket of a young boy standing by. She asked the boy to carry the basket to Theophilus, who was still staring at her. As the boy drew closer, the basket suddenly gave off a sweet fragrance, and there inside were three golden apples 
and three roses. When Theophilus saw how beautiful the fruit and flowers were, he knew they couldn't have been grown on this earth. He ran to Dorothy, fell on his knees, and asked forgiveness for his sarcasm and derision. He professed his faith in Christianity. Theophilus joined Dorothy at the place of execution. Together in the year 311, they were martyred, and indeed Theophilus was the first guest to enter the garden for the wedding feast of the Virgin Dorothy and her divine king, just as Dorothy had promised. Dorothy's courageous joy was told over and over in stories and songs from that point on, and she became a venerated saint as early as the seventh century. Grant me the wisdom and discernment I need to navigate the challenges of life and to always choose the path that leads to peace and happiness. Saint Dorothy, I place my trust in you and I pray that through your intercession, I may always be protected from harm. Amen.